So, what's up guys? Just showing you a quick hand when things don't make sense. Don't get scared. Um, we're just in the tournament. Um, you know, in the early mid stages. Um, uh, folds to me. In the low jack, so we open it up. Get a folds. And then it's weird, we do get the small blind to call. Usually they three better fold, so I don't know the small blinds calling range, probably small pocket pairs. Um, maybe some suited connectors or suited handy likes. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to put him on. And that's the flop. So not a great flop for us, but let's go through the hand to see what happens. He checks. I believe if he had a king, um, he would either check raise me here or he would have bet because uh, there's a five, six, and a seven or an eight. All those are bad cards on a turn. Um, say he wasn't on a heart draw, a heart would be a bad card on the draw. So he would have to bet his king now. Oh, so quick. I bet. Just, you know. Not much. And he calls. So I really don't put him on a king. I really put him on like a hard draw. Um, jack comes off. I mean, I have more jacks and kings in my range than he has. So much more like king, queen, yeah. jack, ten, jack, queen, ace, jack. Just so many more fucking hands that he has uh, with, a, with these two high cards. So he checks again. Um, so like I said, if he had one of those, he would bet, I would feel. Uh, so we are going to bet. We're going to bet like 60% pot. He calls again. So I'm like, is this guy just chasing a draw? Then the king comes off on the river, which I actually like. And he leads out now for quarter pot. And a quarter pot bet here is telling me he doesn't have it. He ha You know what? If I had to put him on something, he probably has like an ace. Ace something suited hearts. That's what he has. Ace something suited hearts. I didn't believe him, so we are going to just jam here and put him to the test. Folds. Grab a nice pot. Back in the fucking tournament. And right there, I mean, just to go over, like I said, um, right here, when I bet, if he had a king, I would raise. I mean, even if he had a good flush draw, I feel like he should raise, but maybe he doesn't know. Just calling the jack, I mean, I bet, he calls again, so to me, it's just like he's chasing a draw, chasing a draw. It could even be five, six, seven, eight. He could have seven, eight, something like that. Just chasing something. And then that king came off. He tried to lead out to pretend like he had something. And now nah, we're going to take that down. So don't let people do this to you in pots. Don't get scared. That donk lead, like that, when they do really small bets like that, it's either like a protection bet or it's like they have nothing. I mean, if you're going to have something you want, and you have value, you're going to bet hard. So. Just showing you that. All right, guys, take it easy. Now Perry right in the middle. It's a funny sight. Seeing those three guys on one side of the table and Tony G on the other. I call. I want to play with him. I got a weak hand, though. I'm still calling if you raise, unless you go all in. I might still call if you go all in. How and Ralph Perry might raise here. He's got King Jack off. How much more? 80 more? I'm calling. Tony G's telling Ralph Perry how much to raise. How much more do you want to make it? Just tell me. Can you put the clock? What is this? You seriously call for the clock here. It's gotten out of fun and games here. And Ralph Perry's going to raise 120,000. 120 more. How much more has he got? Six 
I'm all in. All in. All in. You wanna you wanna do this? Do this properly. Yeah. What do you think I am? I'm here to give my chips away to you. Now in this instance, Tony G's oh. playing brilliantly. Oh. And Ralph Perry calls. Tony G got to Ralph Perry. Wow. You play very oh, well. well. You play very, very well. Wow. I cannot see Ralph Perry calling anybody else in this situation. You're a champion. Send you back to Russia. And the flop. Pair of deuces now for Tony He's G and Ralph Perry King is in trouble. He's drawing semi dead on the flop. Putting all his money in with King Jack calling. This is not something someone to learn from. Ralph Perry needs a king or a jack. Seven, Seven on the turn. Pay the board, baby. Ralph Teach Perry him a good lesson here. Is down to the river. Needs a king or a jack. Oh. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Come on, Russian, get out. It's time to go. Yeah! Look at this. Look how he's doing. Look how he's playing. Look how ugly this is. You're a professional player, and I can do this to you. You are a terrible player. This is disgraceful. I want bring the Russians on. Bring more Russians on. I'm here to get them all. You play that as bad as you can. Your career is finished. You are gone. 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 Feel the power. You feel my power, baby? Feel my power. I think Tony G is speaking more like a Lithuanian than an Australian right now. I got you covered. Is this how you play? You call with King Jack? Which school have you been to? How close is those, those two? Ralph what Perry is looks like Mike Tyson after Buster Douglas got through with him. <clears throat> Tony G could single-handedly reignite the Cold War. Got you covered like a baby. <laughs> oh, boy. Up, and, up and away. Up and away. Come on. On your bike. On your bike. Despite the assault, Ralph Perry taking the high road. Good hand. He's in shock. <clears throat> now, he doesn't deserve any applause. He called with King Jack. If you read my poker strategy, I tell everyone, never, never overplay King Jack. On your bike. On your bike.